You're watching Press TV. Time now for the news review section. Israeli forces have attacked a young Palestinian boy suffering from Down syndrome in the Sheikh Jarrah neighborhood of the occupied Al Quds. The boy identified as Mohammed al ajaluni was brutally attacked along with other residents. They had gathered in solidarity with families threatened with expulsion from their homes. According to eyewitnesses, the crackdown left a number of people wounded. Palestinians have long been voicing anger at Israel's forced expulsion from their ancestral homes and the regime's demolition drive in the occupied West Bank and Al-Quds. Israeli forces have intensified crackdown on Palestinians, protesting the regime's atrocities in Sheikh Jarrah and other neighborhoods. Now to discuss this a bit more, I'm joined by a couple of guests, Mona Kandilar, correspondent in Ramallah, also Amal Wahtan, human rights advocate and Palestinian activist, joining us from Ramallah too. Good to see you ladies. So let's go to Mona first. Uh, tell us more about this uh, story and the overall situation in the occupied territories, uh, you know, well, as you've been reporting, uh, and we've also been covering this, uh, Palestinians are angry, and it seems that they are in the right. They um, should be angry, naturally, with what's going on there on the ground. Well, this time, the situation is a little bit different and something completely different. When uh, we are speaking a, a Palestinian youth with Down syndrome, we mm. have to say that the, the face of a person with, with a Down syndrome is apparent, even to the Israeli soldiers, even to anyone. What right. happened according to the Israeli military, the Israeli soldiers, that uh, this young Palestinian uh, man, uh, Muhammad al ajdouni was chanting, Allahu Akbar, Allah is great, during a demonstration that was held against the, uh, the, uh, the forced eviction of Palestinian families from Sheikh Jarrah. Uh, the Israeli uh, soldiers were, were angry and uh, they were, let's say, touched by the, the, the uh, uh, chanting Allahu Akbar. They followed him, they dragged him as the, the video was clear. People were trying to comfort him, to take him from the hands of the Israeli soldiers. It was, it was uh, uh, clearly, uh, uh, very clear that uh, uh, Muhammad al ajdouni was terrified, uh, was being attacked and harassed was uh, uh, the Israeli soldiers uh, had crossed all red lines according to the experts and to observers. Those Israeli soldiers who carried out this attack should be uh, immediately uh, dragged uh, to a trial, according to many here, of course, are demanding. We have to mention that uh, a Palestinian man with Down syndrome or, or uh, with, with disability uh, was uh, uh, killed by the Israeli soldiers in Al Quds several years ago. Uh, they, uh, the Israeli soldiers at that time, said uh, the, the the soldiers ordered him to go back, and he didn't obey their orders. Uh, at the end of the day, he was shot dead. But uh, mm. apparently, he didn't understand what they were saying. Uh, okay. Now, Amel, if you allow me, uh, let's uh, review uh, some comments that people have uh, posted on social media, and then I'll get back to you with my question for you. So let's check out social media. Okay, we have uh, Tenisina Marwa saying, speechless, Israeli forces attacked and arrested Mohammed al ajaluni a young Palestinian with Down syndrome from the Sheikh Jarrah neighborhood. They are brutally targeting Palestinian civilians, regardless of their age, gender, or ability. Then we have uh, the Palestine saying that you are Palestinian, then you are in danger of being oppressed with countless crimes, no matter if they're children, women, elders, or even people with special needs. Israeli occupation forces keep committing brutal crimes against Palestinians. Mohammed Salami says that the entire world must see how the terrorist occupation troops of hashtag Israel are attacking a Palestinian young man with Down syndrome. Zionists are the Nazis of the time. 
And also we have Cato saying that sadly the world continues to turn a blind eye to the ongoing brutality of Israel's illegal occupation and apartheid regime. Okay, now, Amal, uh, so you see what the situation is. Just like uh, Mona said, and you've been also witnessing this, they're just attacking Palestine no matter if they're healthy, if they're disabled, and, uh, you know, this young man with Down syndrome. And this is the way they treat the Palestinians. And at the same time, uh, we have this land grab thing and the demolition of Palestinian homes, especially Sheikh Jarrah recently. And also we have the world bodies like the UN simply protesting and asking for the Tel Aviv regime to stop this. So what's your overall assessment of this situation? What's going on? Well, this indiscriminate uh, abuse against um, uh, Muhammad Ajloni and um, others who, are, um, you know, who um, uh, are uh, disabled or sick, um, we have seen it uh, several times. Uh, they don't um, give um, uh, or they don't give uh, a ram about uh, Palestinian lives, whether they're children or women or elderly. They don't. Uh, actually, um, this proves that um, uh, all, um, uh, the, the, um, uh, uh, all the uh, reports that has been uh, published regarding the nature of this system, the um, apartheid uh, crimes that are committed, uh, shows that um, these soldiers are acting according um, to orders that they've given by their um, superiors, whether in the military or in the government. The government that allows um, one of the, uh, their Knesset members to open an office in Sheikh Jarrah just to provoke the people, just to make people's lives um, miserable and uh, try to pressure them to leave Sheikh Jarrah, which uh, of course uh, they uh, wouldn't leave Sheikh Jarrah as they did uh, in 1948, when they left uh, Haifa and when they left um, Western uh, Jerusalem, uh, this shows that uh, it is a coordinated effort between the different levels of um, uh, the, the Israeli and the Zionist uh, establishment. So, um, whether it's the UN or uh, the EU, they cannot um, uh, solve this problem un unless they have a real uh, pressure on the uh, Israeli government. Actually, the U.S. has to exert this pressure against um, uh, the Israeli government. Otherwise, we're going to have another round of um, May, um, uh, Saif al-Quds in uh, last May. So uh, they have uh, uh, to choose whether they want to go with this route, mm -hmm. with a, a large-scale confrontation with the Palestinians in 1948 in the West Bank, Jerusalem, and Gaza, Mm -hmm. and whether they want to um, uh, uh, withdraw from uh, Sheikh Jarrah and leave the residents alone. There is a thing not approve them like 48 or in um, uh, confrontations with the Palestinians. So this is in the hands actually of uh, the Israeli government. From what we are seeing, we know that the Israeli no intention of withdrawing from Sheikh Jarrah or any other uh, neighborhood in, in Silwan or stopping the settlers from barging into Al-Aqsa Mosque day in, day out. Um, and uh, this is not um, a actually which opens uh, the other military uh, and popular resistance and intifada in the West Bank 19, uh, and 1948 uh, uh, territories. This is the only chase, uh, choice that is left for the Palestinians. Israeli establishment, the Zionist establishment, the prisoners movement at, as well are facing another wave of um, uh, aggression and um, they're, they're using all the methods that they have uh, to, to confront uh, this aggression. Uh, so in every part of um, occupied Palestine, uh, Palestinians are confronting different um, uh, 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 methods of aggressions by the, the military and by uh, the, the police. So um, 
where neither the UN or any other um, uh, or international organization can do something about it. It has to be a political, um, uh, political um, pressure except by the US and the, U, uh, the EU will follow, of course, uh, the US, or to go to the other um, uh, option of um, a large-scale confrontation. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for that, Mona Kandil, our correspondent in Ramallah, and Amal Wahdan, human rights advocate and Palestine activist, also in Ramallah. And thank you for watching uh, this edition of the News Review.